What's up, everybody? Go Burns riding in a truck. No, I'm actually in a truck in real life. And I'm heading home after being on the road for a week visiting my sisters. Hopefully I'm on my way home and I haven't been abducted by aliens or decide just to keep heading west till I make it to the Pacific Ocean and beyond, right? Anyway, so I thought today, since it's Sunday and as usual, I like to get up on the pulpit and rant about this and that. And we just wrapped up the Worst Rides miniseries this past Friday. We would talk about something that's been bothering me for a while now. Now, obviously, throughout the Best and Worst Rides miniseries I've done, there have been numerous categories of vehicles that we went over that are in Grand Theft Auto Online. And some of them you kind of have to laugh at Rockstar about, like the Vaultic actually being a supercar, or the Buffalo being in the sports section, or the Oracle being a coupe when it's clearly a sedan, or jets that are in the plane category, but all those fail in comparison to my big issue, the truck category, or lack thereof. Now, yes, there are technically trucks in the game. As you can tell, like the Bison and the Bobcat, but they're in the Vans category for some reason, even though they're clearly not Vans. Then, the Saddler, which has become my favorite truck in the game, even though it's been there since the beginning. I did a video on it this past Wednesday. You may want to go back and check out to show you how you can get the version of the Saddler that you would prefer, if you would like your own Vapid Saddler, which sadly, as of right now, is still stuck in the utility category, along with the lawnmower and the golf cart. Does it look like a freaking golf cart or a lawnmower? It's a truck, Rockstar. Next, Industrial. There is a new vehicle that was added to Industrial, the Vapid Guardian, which is part of the heist update. Yes, this should be a truck as well. It is a truck. The same goes for the Saddler, the Bison, and the Bobcat XL, but this final category is what really grinds my gears, the muscle category. Now, I love muscle cars. I've made that case several times. I like the Dominator, the Gauntlet, the Dukes, the Stallion. No, I'm not duping it. Stop asking. But unfortunately, there's also vehicles in the muscle category that should not be in the muscle category, like the Rat Loaders, the Rat Truck, and the Slam Van, which were both included with the fastest surprise. All these vehicles I just mentioned are trucks, Rockstar. They're not muscles. They're not industrial. Utility are stinking vans. They're trucks. And the same thing goes for the off-road category, though I can kind of see trucks being in off-road. I could kind of accept that if all these other vehicles were moved into off-road, like the Bodie, which is Trevor's truck, the Dubsta 6x6, which came with the Hipster Update, the Doom Loader, the Rebels, and Sand Kings, and perhaps even the monster trucks as well, like the Liberator and the Marshall monster trucks. These are trucks and with over a dozen of them spread throughout several other categories they deserve to be merged into one single category and i would like to see that happen even though it probably won't i still would like to see all these vehicles the bison the bobcat xl the saddler the guardian rad loader rad truck slam van and perhaps even the bodie dubs to six by six dune loader rebels sand kings all merged together into a brand new truck category, Rockstar. It's kind of a big deal in America, trucks, since Grand Theft Auto is mostly based in America, like Liberty City, New York City, Vice City, Miami, San Andreas, California, Nevada, with uh, you know, Los Santos being Los Angeles, San Fierro being San Francisco, Las Venturas being uh, Las Vegas. I think I've kind of sort of made my point here. I would just really would appreciate it if Rockstar would actually do a better job with the uh, category section. As I pointed out at the very beginning, having the Vultic as a supercar or the uh, Buffaloes as a sports car when it's obviously a muscle car. And of course, the Oracle should be over in the sedans. Maybe the Buffalo should be in a sedan too since it's four-door. I don't know. And we won't even get started on the plane section. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yes, I love a lot of the cars in Grand Theft Auto Online, as do you. 
I love a number of supercars, sports cars, muscle cars, but trucks have a special place in my heart. Not only do I currently own one, my Nissan Frontier, I've owned a few others as well. And as long as I'm still around for a few more years, decades, till the curtain finally falls on me, I plan on purchasing a few more trucks down the road. And hopefully, if not this time around with Grand Theft Auto Online, maybe in a future installment of Grand Theft Auto and future game, Rockstar will actually do the right thing and give trucks a category of their own to call home. Unless the next GTA is based in London. <laughs> <laughs>